Thank you for taking time to tune in and to pray with us. We've been looking at the expressions of Jesus on the cross. And today we are going to look at another expression of Jesus on the cross that is in John chapter 19, verse 30. The Bible says, when Jesus had received the saw wine, he said, it is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. The, in the Jewish calendar, in the Day of Atonement, the priest once a year would take the a lamp and go and sacrifice as a symbol for the sins of the people of Israel. Once after the sacrifice would come out after he had finished sacrificing and say and declare it is finished. But the blood of the lamb was not enough. That's why Jesus had to die on the cross and give the perfect sacrifice once and for all. We thank the Lord for dying on the cross to reconcile us back to the Father. When Adam sinned, Jesus came and died on the cross, meaning that we don't need to sacrifice anymore an animal to please God, because Jesus died on the cross once and for, and he said it is finished. We can come to him, each and every one of us, when Jesus also died on the when Jesus died when he said it is finished the bible says the curtain in the temple was torn into two mean that you and I we can go to God in prayer anytime another passage I want us to look at is in Colossians chapter 2 verse 11 to 15 Colossians chapter 2 from verse 11 to 15 the bible says in him also you who were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, 
having been buried with him in baptism in which you were also raised with him through faith in the powerful working of God who raised him from the dead and you who are dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh God made alive together with him having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with his legal demands this is set aside nailing it to the cross it disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him one other thing about when Jesus said it is finished it also means that to you who has given himself to Christ you've been given power over the enemy at times the enemy may look like he has power but god has given you power because at the cross the bible says he disarmed principalities and powers so i want us today to pray i want us to focus on those who don't know jesus christ jesus did not just come to die for the sake he came and died so that you may have a relationship with him so i want us to pray for our family members our husbands who are not born again our wife who are not born again our children who are not born again our brothers sisters relatives at this season let us pray that they are going to receive Christ because Christ died on the cross for them I want us to pray that their eyes will be open their spiritual eyes will be open and they'll give their life to Christ Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we come before you we lift our family members before you Lord we want to pray for husbands who are not born again we want to pray for wives who are not born again we want to pray for children who have not given their life to Christ we pray oh God for parents fathers mothers who are not born again grandparents uncles aunties nieces nephews who have never given their life to Christ Jesus who died on the cross so that we may have a relationship with you I want to pray for salvation in the name of Jesus Christ that this season as we remember the death and resurrection of Christ that our families we accept you as lord and savior we want to pray for their spiritual eyes to be open to believe on Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and believe amen the other part i want us to pray for is god has given us power and authority maybe you may be facing oppression of the enemy in your home in your family or even at your place of work we've been given authority because of what Jesus did on the cross the bible says in colossians chapter 2 verse 15 that it is armed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him that Jesus at the cross disarmed powers of darkness so you as an individual who is born again rise up arise and pray contend for your home contend for your family for maybe or even for your place of work or your business the enemy has been oppressing you so I want us to pray for victory father in the name of Jesus Christ 
We thank you, Lord Jesus, that in Colossians chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says you disarm the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. We want to pray for every oppression at the place of work, at home, in families. We pray for victory in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we want to pray for believers to arise and contend with the enemy because you've given us power and authority to trade upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Lord, we want to pray for freedom. We want to pray in the name of Jesus for those who are facing oppression at night, even when they want to sleep, they can't sleep. They are facing battles in dreams. We pray for victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory in Jesus' name. Father, those who have been harassed in their business, oh God, we pray for victory in the name of Jesus. Those in their marriages, in their families, in their children, facing oppression of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare victory in Jesus' name. Those who are facing oppression of sickness and disease. Lord, we thank you at the cross. You defeated sickness in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, you are made whole. So, Lord, we speak healing against all manner of sickness. Could be corona, could be cancer, could be HIV, could be whatever chronic sickness people have been battling. We speak victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those who are facing oppression financially, we also speak liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we pray for your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did on the cross. In Jesus Christ's name, pain, belief, amen. God bless you, and we pray that you have a blessed day. Continue contending for your faith. God bless you. I want more of you. If this is your prayer, sing I want. I want more of you. Sing more.